Hi and welcome to video three of the snowman series. Uh, I want to show you the layers that help us organize the scene. So in their channel box at the bottom you see a, a display layers area. Uh, if I select, like I can select my terrain and I can click uh, uh, create a new layer with the sign selected objects this button and as I do so it creates this new layer. I can double click that and say terrain. Uh, there's a V for visibility. There is a uh, I'm not sure what the P stands for. I should look it up. And there's there is a template where uh, it's there but I can't select it. So if I want a kind of a wireframe, hey, I, uh, it'd be nice to have it in the scene. I just don't want to be able to select it and it get in the way. Uh, I might even leave that. Uh, or you could just turn it off. Uh, I'll also go and you can create a new layer, an empty layer there and I can select the snowball. I can right click that layer and add selected objects. So now the snowball is also on the layer. And I'll just call this one the snowman layer and save. Alright, that just gets us organized. Um, so to create a snowman uh, you guys have already learned about uh, duplicating and parenting uh, and pivot points so I'm going to do this fairly quickly I'm going to jump into the side view by tapping the space bar and I'm going to hit F to frame and I'm going to hit W and our pivot point is in the mi middle I'm going to hit home key and then I'm going to hit the V for vertice and you notice that yellow square in the middle turns to a circle. And I'll snap it to the bottom, hit W to move. Uh, and actually, I'll, I'll leave it here. Uh, I'll go ahead and flatten my snowball a little bit. Uh, if you're just working with a sphere, go ahead and beat it up some. Go, uh, you guys have watched the, uh, the tutorial on sculpting. So go ahead and beat it up, apply your texture. Um, back to the side view. So basically I'm just going to hit Command D to duplicate, W to move. Alright. And we'll hit R to scale it down. So I'm using the command, you guys should know the command keys by now. I'm going to hit uh, Command D again. And you guys also know the duplicate special. That would have been a, a, a good time to do that, right? <laughs> but uh, I'm already done. So uh, there's our snowman. If you look, it's all beat up the same way all the way around. So I'm going to kind of rotate this and you know, you know, it's a snowman. Uh, we don't want it too perfect here. Uh, at this point, uh, I want you guys to go ahead and add arms and a hat. Um, And I'll do that really quick if you want to follow along. Uh, the way I would do a hat, let's see. Easiest way to do a hat would probably be take a cylinder and scale it down. And then take it, create an edge loop tool about right here and then jump in the side view and we're going to extrude that out that brim brim the rim face grab these and we're going to extrude and I'm going to click the scale once and then I get the universal scale now there's no hole in the bottom but well, I, I will say this about modeling. Sometimes, uh, you know, perfect is boring. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as as you model, you know, once you finish something, you may go and hey, I want to take a couple of. You almost go and mess it up just a little bit, just to give it some character. You know, we could add an edge loop here. We 
could select these vertices here and kind of rotate them. All right. Now we could make a hole in there. Uh, sorry. If I were to, and I can uh, kind of paint select it here. I'm going to grab the faces and hit B. And I can, so that's another way of selecting. I want to, something I haven't shown you is extruding, but I'm not pulling out. I'm just creating new geometry uh, coming in. So I'm going to hit the scale tool and I'm not going to move. I'm just going to bring it in. So that's another way of creating geometry. Uh, and I hit G again. And this time I'm just going to take that up. Oops. I'm just going to hit delete. Uh, it's going to be cut off, but you're not going to see it. So, uh, so it actually has a hole. All right. So to to make arms, I would make arms with uh, kind of thinking about what I just said about kind of uh, not being too perfect. If we were to create branches, I could create just a a stick. Uh, that's not what I was thinking. I'm going to jump to the side view, no, the front view. And I'm going to move the pivot point, so I hit home, to one end, hit W, and I'll bring it over here. And I don't know if I can still add subdivisions without yeah so now you go into component mode and uh, you know you can you can make it less perfect I, I guess uh, might go in and out and um, another thing we could do insert edge loop we could create a uh, grab the face here and extrude it out so I want you guys to have fun with this you know you can extrude that out it's just a branch um, you could use your uh, sculpting tool. So what I'm going to do is uh, bring this in and maybe uh, spin it around sideways and then I'm going to duplicate it and pick it up and maybe bring it down here and rotate it something like that. But I'm going to parent the forearm to the main arm, P, main arm to the torso, P, the hat to the head, P, the head to the torso, P, the torso, I'm hitting, holding down shift every time to the base, P, uh, I could take uh, command D that which is a duplicate and I'm going to uh, see all this is craziness I'm going to go ahead and uh, freeze my transforms it gives me a one scale and then uh, I'm going to see if I can yeah flip that all right, and see if it's still everything's still parented right. And the reason I'm doing this is uh, when we, I'm going to show you guys how to animate, uh, probably in the next video. But uh, you can take this and the pivot points here. I can begin. Uh, oh, we got some weirdness going on. We're going to need to reset the transforms, freeze transformations on that. 
hit G on that. Or else we're going to get hit G, D. It's best to build at the origin and build facing a specific direction, which I thought I was facing straight Z, but let's see if this works now. Yeah, that's better. So we can move this. Uh, and uh, we'll move this, but if we move this arm that goes with it. If he were to take a bow, his head, if he turns, the hat stays with it, and the hat can come off and you can animate it separately. So for this tutorial, what I would, where I want you to end up, uh, the first one was about the train, the second one was about the material. This one I want you to build a snowman that is properly parented. Okay, make some arms, go ahead and put nose and uh, you know, put a carrot and some eyes and some buttons. Make it yours. Have fun with it. Um, and at the end of this video, you should have something ready that we can begin looking at keyframe animation. Because what we're going to do for this project, we're going to set up and uh, have your snowman wave and maybe do some, some basic animation here. All right. But... Uh, that's it for this tutorial.